Okay, you know, keep grinding. Like I said, uh, come, come, and start with practice. You know, we we go out of practice every um, every every day and work hard. You know, and we go bring it to the game. So we try to stay focused and keep grinding the whole time. It seemed like you were frustrated on the first half. How did you turn that over into success in the second? Um, I just you know I just uh, try to play my game. You know, keep calm. Coach told me it was gonna come to me. And it came to me at the end of the game, I just had to make a big play. What did you see on that big play? I mean, you know, you've talked before about seeing that the uh, defensive back was scary. Did you see that same thing again, or was it just, you know, I'm, I'm better than you? Yeah, once I see them, um, once they don't say something to me, they don't say nothing to me, I'm alive. I look in their eyes, I just know some some up. So um, once I saw the safety go down, it was he looked like a little scared. So um, I stepped on his toes and I know that's my touchdown anyway. So touchdown Terry. You said that you uh, when you got one on one, you think it's a touchdown every time. But the ball doesn't always come to you every time. So how how cool is it when you got by that guy, looked up, and the ball's in the air coming towards you? Um, I don't know if you expected the ball in the air. If you looked up and knew it was coming to you. Um. I just know, like, once Dre knows it's a one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one matchup, he know I'm capable of going to get the ball. I just know uh, the ball going to come to me at the end of the game because I just know uh, on the bit, the bit post, he's going to he throw it out there and make me go run on and go get it. So uh, I just know I had to go break him down and step on the toes and go get it. Pretty nice throw by him, too. Yes, sir. After the game, um, a bunch of the players went around the stadium and started high-firing the fans. What does it mean for the fans that stayed and watched the game and showed up? That's a blessing. Um, that's, that's a huge blessing, you know. The fans that's um, believing in us, you know, we had a bad season, but fans that stand out there believing in us, saying we're going to pull it out, that's just a blessing for us. And that's just letting us know we got to keep grinding and stay focused. This is a high point in the season. How do you... Um, sort of settle down before you go against Florida or our track? Um, like I said, we're going to come out tomorrow at practice, you know, go over the um, correction, you know, um, the mistakes we did, what we had on the field, and we just um, going to learn from that and just keep grinding and just stay focused and come out next week. And, what does, it mean, what does it mean to you that this was a really a team effort? I mean, you guys came up with a big play at the end with the offense, and then the defense did their part at the end as well. So, I mean, a complete game by the team. Um, I can't say this defense played very good, you know. They had some um, big stops. You know, we came up with a lot of picks. We burned them. They had a lot of sacks, you know. So, um, defense played very well, you know, to get an offense a chance to go score and win the game. So, that was good by defense, too. Obviously, the season as a whole hasn't gone quite the way you guys wanted, but what would it mean if you could uh, win next week and you know, beat the Gators and then uh, get the whole street going, too? Uh, I know for sure everybody, everybody wants this, and I know we want it so bad. So, uh, that would be real big. You know, because we ain't trying to, we ain't trying to end this bowl streak. We trying to keep that going, so we finna go out and work hard, work like very hard at practice, but we can keep this bowl streak going.